afternoon. Welcome to San Diego State University's 2015 Engineering Commencement Ceremony. I am Morteza Merabadi, Dean of the College of Engineering. I now ask that you please rise as the Air Force ROTC Color Guard presents the colors and please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem led by Miss Courtney Catangel of the School of Theater, Television and Film. early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Uh, please be seated. For me, there are two remarkable days on a university campus that are filled with a special excitement as they mark the beginnings of dreams, possibilities, and aspirations. One is the first day of classes when our new students begin their academic journey. Their excitement and enthusiasm for learning is remarkable. The second day is the day of commencement when we recognize and honor the achievements of our students. These graduates have been mentored by our faculty, challenged in the classroom, and collaborated with their peers to achieve great academic distinction through their, throughout their education. As engineering graduates, you may regard today as the ending point for your academic careers, but it's not. Today marks only the beginning of your life's path as an engineer. We recognize each and every one of you for all that you have achieved since the first day that you began your academic journey here at SDSU. It is now my pleasure to introduce my respected colleagues and guests who are in attendance today. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all have been recognized. Representing the University, Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Chukuka Nwemeka, 
who is taking part in his first commencement at SDSU. <laughs> Vice President for Business and Financial Affairs and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Tom McCarran. <laughs> Vice President for Student Affairs, Mr. Eric Rivera. Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate Affairs, Dr. Stephen Welter. <laughs> Chair of the University Senate, Dr. David Ely. <laughs> Representing the San Diego State University Alumni Association, Mr. Jordan Evans. <laughs> Representing the College of Engineering, Associate Dean of the College of Engineering, Dr. Bruce Westermont. Assistant Dean of the College of Engineering, Mrs. Teresa Garcia. <laughs> Chair of the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Dr. Nagi Nasir, who is retiring this month after serving the university for 32 years. <laughs> Chair of the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering, Dr. Janusz Supernak. <laughs> Chair of the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Dr. Lal Tumala. <laughs> Chair of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. Ki Moon. From Department of Aerospace Engineering, Dr. Luciano De Masi, Dr. Gus Jacobs, Dr. Sachi Venkatraman. From Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering, Dr. Alicia Kinoshita, Dr. Natalie Miladonov, Dr. Tyus Valdez. Dr. Ken Walsh, Mr. Tom Zink, from Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Dr. Fred Harris, Dr. Satish Sharma, and Dr. Yusuf Oster. From Department of Mechanical Engineering, Dr. Asfa Bayani, Dr. F Dr. Fletcher Miller, and, and Mr. Tom Johnson. Please join me in welcoming these individuals. You may be seated. I now present the Chair of the University Senate, Dr. David Ely. It is fitting at this time to pay tribute to the San Diego State University students who have put their educations on hold in order to serve in the U.S. Armed Forces. We also want to thank the veterans who are here today for their service to our nation. Would you please stand and be recognized? We thank you and appreciate your sacrifice. Please be seated. It is also fitting to remember our fellow faculty and students who we lost in the past year. Their names appear in the commencement program. Please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. I now present Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Chikuka and Wameka, 
and Vice President for Research and Dean of Graduate Affairs, Dr. Stephen Welter. So now we're starting to transition to the portion that I suspect many of you have been waiting for years, which is the conferral of degrees. Uh, we'll be starting with the conferral of the doctoral degrees. The degree of Doctor of Philosophy is bestowed upon those who have demonstrated an extraordinary knowledge of an academic discipline and a capacity for original intensive research. The degree requires at least three full years of full-time study, further years of research, and completion of a dissertation in a specialized field. Provost N. Wameka, I have the honor to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. A complete listing can be found in the commencement program. Graduates and professors, please rise and walk to the podium as your names are called. Sean Davis, candidate for degree of philosophy in engineering science, mechanical, and aerospace engineering, sponsored by Dr. Gustav Jacobs. David McPhee, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering Science, Mechanical, and Aerospace Engineering, sponsored by Dr. Aswa Bayin. <laughs> Nathan Labadi, candidate for Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering Science, Electrical, and Computer Engineering, sponsored by Dr. Satis Sharma. Would the faculty sponsoring uh, the three individuals please come forward and behind them? Okay. Provost M. Wameka, these candidates having completed their doctoral studies have been recommended by the Graduate Council to receive the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. The Doctor of Philosophy degree is the highest earned academic degree awarded by any university. San Diego State University is pleased to cooperate with institutions in California in offering these joint, joint doctoral degree programs. Our participation in this traditional hooding ceremony signifies the exceptional recognition given by the Academy of Edu higher education to students who have earned this degree. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please hood our new colleagues. Congratulations, our new PhDs. Please be seated. San Diego State University offers the master's degree in 78 different programs, including the arts, letters and science, and professional areas. Candidates for the master's degrees, please rise and remain standing as your degree is called. Master of Aerospace Engineering. The Master of Bioengineering. Master of Civil Engineering. Master of Electrical Engineering. Master of Environmental Engineering. Master of Mechanical Engineering. And Master of Engineering. 
Provost and Wameka, I have the honor to present the candidates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree. They've been recommended by the faculty and graduate council to receive the degree as listed in the commencement program. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Please be seated. We will now proceed with the conferral of the bachelor's degree. In the College of Engineering, undergraduates earn the Bachelor of Science degree. Candidates for the bachelor's degree will be presented by Dean Merabadi. It is my pleasure to introduce the December, May, and August candidates for bachelor's degree. As I call your degree, please stand and remain standing. Bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Civil engineering. <laughs> Computer engineering. Construction engineering. Electrical engineering. Environmental engineering. And mechanical engineering. Thank you. Please be seated. I am delighted to recognize those students whose academic achievements have earned them honors for outstanding scholarship. Students graduating with extremely high GPAs, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude are listed in the university commencement program. You may also identify those graduates who have earned our highest academic honor, summa cum laude, by the gold honor braid worn over their robes. Will all those students who are graduating with honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude, please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. Please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Dustin Wright, who has earned the distinction of Outstanding Graduating Senior in the College of Engineering. Members of the class of 2015, as chair of the University Senate, I congratulate you on your achievement. Provost and Wameka, by action of the University Senate, the faculty approves and recommends awarding the degrees listed in the program. Uh, all candidates for the bachelor's degree, will you stand once again? All candidates for the bachelor's degree, will you stand now? Speak 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the California State University and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the bachelor's degree with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. It is with great pleasure that I present this diploma to symbolize the awarding of the bachelor's degree to the graduating class of the College of Engineering. Congratulations. Thank you, Provost N. Wameka, Dr. Ely, and Dean Marabati. On behalf of the class of 2015, I am proud to accept this diploma and bid a grateful farewell to San Diego State University. It is customary at this time for all bachelor's candidates to move their tassels from right side to the left, symbolizing the moment of graduation. Please join me. Thank you. Please be seated, and congratulations, all you engineers. Our university president is not here with us today. Dr. Elliot Hirschman is attending the graduation ceremony of his own son at another institution. So the responsibility of charging our new graduates has fallen upon me. Commencement is for me the best day of the year, a day of celebration and a day to be proud of. I hope each of you will embrace the joy of this day and give thanks to those who have supported you all through. At this point, Graduates, I would like for you to rise and acknowledge the presence of your parents, your spouses, your friends, your family members, your well-wishers, and others who are here to support you on this great occasion. Please rise and give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please be seated. You have accomplished very much, and we are exceedingly proud of you. I hope that you will continue to learn and grow, and that you will embrace the noblest aspirations that you will experience joy and that ultimately you will grow to become the person that you hope to be. I recognize that some of you may feel some uncertainty at this time. This is perfectly normal, natural, and indeed appropriate. I can tell you that when I received my bachelor's degree decades ago, I felt exactly the same way. Every day brings new, unexpected situations. But one thing I can assure you is that no matter what twists and turns the future may bring, you are prepared. We feel confident that we have prepared you in the best way possible. You have accomplished very much. You have the capacity to learn, to grow, and to meet challenges that we cannot even envision today. 
Moreover, you are members of the Aztec family now. And as Aztecs, there is a hero within each of you. When necessary, please reach down and pull up that hero in you. And I can assure you, it will serve you well. Your future and ours are now inextricably linked. As your life and career develop, we hope you will return often to your university, to your roots, indeed to our campus, your home. We will leave the lights on for you and will certainly welcome you back at any time. You graduate today with our deepest affection and our utmost respect. We are greatly honored to have shared a part of your life and grateful for the part that you have played in the life of our great institution. Graduates, Engineers, congratulations. Thank you. One of the finest college recognitions is to be selected from one's department as the outstanding graduate. In turn, these students select the most influential faculty member of their academic career. This reciprocal recognition is greatly respected. Let me introduce you to these fine graduates and faculty. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. When your name is called, please come to the podium to receive your certificate. Department of Aerospace Engineering student, Zach Khanem Al-Wakil. and Professor Sachi Venkatraman. Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering student Tanner Verhooks and Professor Thomas Zink. Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering student Dustin Wright and Professor Yusuf Osturk. Department of Mechanical Engineering student Ryan Skerlock and Professor Luciano De Masi. We ask the parents and families of these outstanding graduates to rise and share this recognition. Thank you. Uh, please be seated. I am very pleased now uh, to introduce uh, your SDSU Alumni Association representative, Mr. Jordan Evans. On behalf of the more than 290,000 alumni of San Diego State University, I welcome you to the Nationwide Aztec Network. We're pleased to honor you on your commencement day. 
And speaking of honor, it's my great pleasure to take a moment to acknowledge that this year, your class, the class of 2015, left an impressive legacy. Over 1,400 of you made a donation to support future students. We want to take a moment and recognize you for making a difference. You've been given a distinguished commencement cord to wear on, proudly on this special day. Will those of you wearing the red and white donor cords please stand and be recognized? Thank you all, and thank you for helping Aztecs achieve their dream. As you transition from student to alumni, we ask that you always consider the importance of giving back and remaining connected. Mentor a student, come back and, uh, to campus for our events. Your support is critical to our university's future. Wherever your success may take you, you know you'll always be an Aztec for life. Thank you and congratulations. And now let us all stand for the singing of the alma mater, led by Ms. Courtney Cattengell. The words of our alma mater may be found on page four of the commencement program. Thank you. Hail Montezuma, we with loyal hearts are homage pay, proud working and glorying in the spirit of the Aztec name. To thee, San Diego, and the fond traditions old and new, a tribute raised of lasting praise and steadfast faith. Hail Montezuma. I would now like to introduce this year's commencement speaker, Mr. Joe Chiani, who is a distinguished alumnus of SDSU, a source of pride for the College of Engineering, and the shining example of what can be achieved with the SDSU engineering education and degree. Mr. Chiani earned his bachelor's and master's degree in electrical and computer engineering in 1984 and 1987, respectively. He runs one of the world's most admired medical technology companies, is an inventor of world-changing, non-invasive patient monitoring devices, a trusted voice for patient safety and care, and a convention-breaking maverick. As the founder, chairman, and CEO of Massimo Corporation, a global medical technology innovator, Mr. Chiani has been a beacon for patient safety and innovation in healthcare for more than 25 years. It is estimated that over 100 million people are monitored with Massimo technology this every year. Committed to patient safety, Mr. Chiani founded the Patient Safety Movement Foundation in 2012. His foundation's mission is to reduce preventable death in hospitals worldwide and eliminate the more than 200,000 preventable patient death that occurs in U.S. hospitals every year. Under Mr. Chiani's leadership, his foundation held the first Patient Safety Science and Technology Summit in January 2013 with President Clinton as the keynote speaker. At this summit, he launched an aggressive goal, zero preventable patient death by 2020. Mr. Chiani and Massimo have helped to solve the unsolvable problems 
plaguing patient monitoring while building a substantial intellectual property portfolio with more than 600 issued and pending patents worldwide. Please help me extend a warm welcome to our distinguished alumnus and 2015 commencement speaker, Mr. Joe Chiani and his family who are here today. Wow, I can tell you guys are ready to change the world. S stand up and roar. I can tell you want to do it. So just stand up and give a big, loud roar. You, you are engineers now. I want to, I want to thank Monty. Mehrabadi, Dean Mehrabadi, to invite me to be here with you today. I want to be able to say I was just in those seats a few years ago, but it's been almost 30 years since uh, I was in those seats. And I know what you've gone through. I know the classes you've had to take, the challenges you had to endure. But I also know that without your family and community supporting you, you could not be here today. So a big round of applause to them. You are now engineers. There are many daunting problems facing our world. Global warming, the scarcity of food and water, the issues surrounding patient safety, which is very near and dear in my heart, these are problems, some of them, that threaten the survival of our humanity. But you are here, and you are now graduating, and I know you can't wait till Monday, to go and fix these problems. It's a great responsibility, and I know you will rise up to it. You must, you have to rise up to it. You have to take on the problems that everyone else thinks don't have a solution, delve into the noise, the problem with it, and find the solution. Because if you don't do it, nobody else will. I took on my own challenge, I had been blessed to be mentored like you by some amazing professors. One here that continues to be my mentor, Professor Fred Harris. He turned me on. He turned me on to the world of adaptive filters. Yeah, don't get carried away. I have a wife and kids here. And Adaptive filters, while very useful in many areas, anti-submarine warfare, satellite communication, could not be used in the area of non-invasive monitoring because people could not figure out what the signal model is because the body is in chaos. In fact, if it gets periodic, you'll go into fibrillation. And you can't predict the noise. You can't tell how a person is going to move. Are they going to shiver? Are they going to move, shake, wiggle like a baby? So the noise was unpredictable. And by the way, I don't get to tell the story to many because it's over everyone else's head. So today, I'm going to tell you a little bit of my technology. Are you ready? OK, so I can talk about the least squared lattice joint process estimator that we used to get rid of the noise that was plaguing pulse oximetry. And we did it. And we solved the problem people thought couldn't be solved. We mathematically drive the noise out of the signal and then canceled it. And with it, revolutionized pulse oximetry and have now been able to save countless number of eyesights babies that were becoming blind in the neonatal intensive care unit because they can't handle too much oxygen. And when they wiggled, the monitors would give low reading falsely, and the clinicians would increase the oxygen. 
We're now saving lives in the post-surgical wards. There are patients on opioids that are going to be moving around, could cause false alarms, We've, and now they can be safely monitored. And when we did this, we did it with the eye of trying to help patients, trying to make a contribution. Today, we're a public company with over 3,500 employees from a startup company I began in my garage with the dream of using that technology to solve this problem. And, and the innovation doesn't stop. We've done more, but one of these things leads to another, and that's the challenge that you get to take on. As, as an engineer, I started this thing, and then I noticed a bigger problem. Believe it or not, the place you think is the safest place in the world, the hospitals, people get better from what they went in for, but then they die from an error that is totally preventable. At a tune of two to 400,000 a year in the US alone, over three million worldwide. That's two planefuls a day crashing with every passenger dead in the US. And we took that on. We took that problem on, and I'm happy to report by our third meeting, the work that we started, we were able to report over 6,500 lives saved annually. By next year's summit, hopefully 30,000 lives saved annually. And Vice President Biden even showed up to this last event. And it's just wonderful, but, the, but my whole point is here, you've got to start. You've got to find out what you enjoy doing, and then do a lot of it. Do a lot of it, because that's how you get better. You know, if you understand the four corners of the square, that's how you can get outside of it. And that only comes from doing a lot of what you love. So you've got to find that. And life isn't always easy. So you gotta put a smile on your face even when times are not easy. That smile will make you feel better. Maybe put on the James Bond tune behind your head. It'll make you feel better. You know you got a big problem and you go on solving it. But as you go out after your endeavors, do it with a sound set of guiding principles. So that at the end of the day, you can look at yourself in the mirror and be proud of who you are. I would like to share with you my guiding principles. There were five basic guiding principles. Number one, stay true. Remain faithful to your promises and responsibilities. Number two, thrive on fascination and accomplishment, not power and greed. Three, I know this one you guys do really well, and so did I. Make every day as fun as possible. Hopefully there's something else after here, but you know what? This is a great place to be. Make every day count. Number four, grow. This is not the end of your learning. It's just the beginning. Every day, every year, find a way to improve yourself. And last but not least, do what you can to improve humanity. Mine is do what's best for patient care. With these guiding principles, whether you accomplish the lofty goal that you start out with or not, you can be proud of yourself. And if you do get to it, you can enjoy it. Enjoy the glory, enjoy the pleasure that you did it the right way. A lot of people want to know why someone does what they do. I think it's important to ask, what does someone do and how do they do it? Because through the how, we teach others how to go about doing things. I want to just give you some parting thoughts. Success should be measured in happiness. Happiness comes from living within your means, doing something worthwhile, and doing it with outward kindness. One of my favorite movies and favorite, favorite quotes is from a movie called Braveheart. I can tell you all know it. There's a line in there, I might be paraphrasing. It says, all men must die, but some men live. Use your time, live. We're a speck in time and in universe. To some people, they think that means maybe I just don't need to do anything. 
But to me, it means you actually ha should go boldly, take on big problems, and do it with utmost integrity. Because it doesn't matter. You know, 100 years from now, unfortunately, none of us are probably going to be here. So you've got to do it the right way. I'd like to wish everyone here peace, happiness. I hope one day we'll have no more fear, no more threats. Instead, hopefully we can have peace and we can have courage. With that, congratulations, class of 2015. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's a great uh, and inspirational speech. Uh, thank you, Mr. Kiani. I would now like to ask our college's most outstanding student, Mr. Dustin Wright, to come to the podium to address the graduates. Thank you very much, Dean Maribody. Distinguished faculty, family, friends, and students, good evening. It is an honor to be able to speak here today. To the graduating class of the College of Engineering, first and foremost, let me say congratulations on this momentous achievement. I'd first like to thank the president, the provost, and many deans and administrators of this university who have given us access to a world-class education. Of course, thank you to my many professors who have imparted the knowledge which enables us to make an impact in our respective fields. Uh, in particular, I'd like to thank Dr. Yusuf Ozturk, who sits up here with me today. He was my research advisor during my undergrad and hopefully, happily endured my presence in his lab for two years. He was an invaluable mentor and gave me access to incredible opportunities, which are in no short part why I was graciously given the opportunity to be up here today. I'd also like to thank my friends who have taken this journey with me for the past four and a half years. Finally, I must give an immense thank you to my parents who are a continuous source of support for me. Thank you especially for putting up with the anxiety and stresses of college with me for the past four and a half years. <laughs> Today is our day to recognize and appreciate the hard work, industriousness, perseverance, and at times frustration we experienced over the past several years of our lives. Having obtained a degree in an engineering discipline, we are among an elite group of individuals. In the United States, only 4.5% of undergraduates receive a degree in engineering according to a 2014 National Science Foundation study. We are the newest wave of thinkers and makers, and we have many thanks to give for this accomplishment. This evening, I'd like to share three of the most important lessons I've learned during my undergrad about what makes great engineers. I'm not going to go into the detail about those things which we all know are inherent to being an engineer. Everyone knows that we're all critical thinkers with the passion to make, break, and build the things that humans need. Instead, I'd like to reflect on those things which I've observed that comprise truly exceptional engineers and which may not be so obvious. Great engineers are commonly thought of as nerdy shut-ins who almost exclusively use the left hemisphere of their brain. <laughs> we're supposed to be just logical and introspective, caring more for the formula rather than the design when it comes to what we make. This notion is completely false. In your experience at SDSU, think back on all the people that you've met in the engineering department. How many of them can you think of who are also artists, dancers, musicians, photographers, or writers? Prior to starting at SDSU, I was sure my future lay in music, and some of my first engineering friends I met through marching band and jazz band. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't until my first engineering course during freshman year that I realized the parallels between being a creative artist and an engineer. The ability to think creatively and think outside the box, which I acquired through being both an engineer and a musician, was essential to me in my classes, my jobs, and my research while at SDSU. It became obvious that creativity is not solely needed by artists, but is necessary for an engineer to be able to solve the problems that she will face in her career. We are not engineers simply for the sake of rebuilding the same things over and over again. We are engineers in order to create things for the benefit of society. The next lesson I want to talk about is being a collaborative and interdisciplinary thinker, which I learned through one of my most memorable college experiences. I was fortunate enough this past year to go to the University of Washington to compete in the first Center for Sensory Motor Neural Engineering Hackathon. 
The center is focused on developing technology which leverages the human brain and body to help disabled individuals and change the ways which, in which humans interact with computers. The hackathon was held for students from the three partner schools, SDSU, University of Washington, and MIT, to collaborate and compete in a 36-hour weekend-long event where teams develop prototypes of products which essentially hack the brain and body. Working with a PhD student in bioengineering from UW and a PhD student in neuroscience from MIT, we created a product which monitored a person's stress level using electrical signals naturally emitted by the human body. Throughout this event, what amazed me the most was how the individuals I worked with were not only fantastically knowledgeable in their fields, but were highly skilled in electronics and computer programming and thought in terms of the societal impact of what they created. I realized that in order to build truly amazing things, we must be able to draw on a rich and diverse base of knowledge which extends far beyond our own areas of expertise. Having such knowledge is required in order to understand the broader issues in our fields so that we may make intelligent and ethical decisions. Being an interdisciplinary thinker greatly expands the engineer's tool belt and gives us the perspective necessary to create for the benefit of humanity. The last lesson I want to talk about is following your curiosity. Curiosity is one of those uniquely human characteristics which drives us to ask questions and push the limits of what we already know. SDSU provided us numerous opportunities to pursue our curiosity. We had students who started the Mechatronics Club and competed in the RoboSub competition. We had the Rocket Club, the Zahn Center, Tau Beta Pi, IEEE, and many other organizations. My curiosity led me to work as a research assistant here at SDSU and explore a number of challenging and important problems for two years of my undergrad. What I learned from this is that curiosity can lead you in the right direction. We may face dead ends and setbacks. There really are no straight paths in life. But your curiosity will lead you to those areas you find most important, challenging, and fulfilling. This is essential for us as engineers, as this is what makes our work significant to ourselves. As the next generation of engineers, we are in a position to influence and shape the future. Having been educated at a world-class university, we are well equipped with the skills necessary to accomplish this. We will face many challenges moving forward as our academic lives come to a close, but we should never lose arguably the most important skill that we gained in college, how to learn. We must always stay hungry for knowledge and never stop questioning what we already know. In this way, we can be truly educated individuals. And we should remember that as engineers, we are also artists, collaborators, thinkers, and makers. Thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Wright, for your encouraging remarks. At this time, I would like to thank the Provost Party for their participation as they leave the stage. During your academic journey with SDSU, you have learned the mathematical and scientific principles which you have used to innovate and design. You have gained the, an ability to work in teams and to communicate your technical results. You have acquired an appreciation of the richness that art and literature brings to life. You have recognized that the resources of this earth are finite and need to be preserved. You have gained an understanding that we must embrace diversity and be able to work in a global uh, community. Now, you are ready to join the profession of engineering. Please continue to develop your professional skills as engineering is ever-changing. Please stay engaged with your alma mater and finally, create a better world through your professional practice. We would now like to individually recognize each of the class of 2015 graduates from the College of Engineering. <laughs> Earning a college degree takes years of hard work sacrifice, and dedication. Please join them in sharing the joy of walking across the stage to receive recognition of that achievement. 
At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Nagi Nasir, the chair of the Department of Aerospace Engineering, to join me at the front of the stage. And it is also my pleasure to introduce Mr. William Fallon and Dr. Charles Gehring, who will introduce each of our graduates. I now ask uh, graduates in the Department of Aerospace Engineering to rise and proceed to your left. From the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Maxwell Newell. David Herman. I, I, No, no. Aaron Bueno. Nicole Ortiz. Joshua McGee. James Mamuyak. Nicholas Wynn. Carlo Duya. Austin Menaces. Jonathan Porter. Jeffrey Erickson. David Chance. Travis Wyatt. Randolph Beltran. Kevin Navarro. Tyler Allen Gaines. Cora Garcia. Michael Regalman. Matthew San Pedro. Zach Ganem Al Wakil. Gabriela Sands Douglas. Jeremy Shamley Payne. Grace Bone. Brian Davis. Josue Quinones. Justine Ortiz. Frida Quiroz. Daniel Silva. Rocio Hernandez. John Kenneth A. Gregorio. Christopher Long. Josiel Lopez. Leah Ritchie. Jacqueline Alexis Mendoza. Julian Baptis. Colin O'Fallon. Bradley Crawford. Christopher Fernandez. John Red? John Red Denzel Taratacto. Lauren Parrott. Ross Novencito. Katrina Granada. Anthony Gustavo Maldonado. Adrian Diostato. Pietro Zarelli. Arthur Akopian. Tom Hackelman. Jonathan Magsudi. Dan Belinsky. Sinan Tabchi. Ryan Howell. Michael Totter. From the Department of Civil, Construction, and Environmental Engineering, 
Louay Hamoud. Dia Binosh. Alessandro Maganucco. Cynthia Chin. Alex Jacob Smith. Nicole Marie Salem. Alexander Gostomelski. Omar Jalili. Kumar Sravagi. Oscar Cortez. Yahya Al Samani. Jaime Ramos. Paige Russell. Sharon McDonald. Ian Crano. Eric Kuchar. Kyle Thomas. Travis Patel. Keith Walsh. Blaine Aaron Katz. Tyler Sevick. Colin Weisenberger. Eric Tebow. Jacob Jeweler. Tian Cheng Su. Alan Hurtado. Daniel Bedoya. Joseph Echover. Ernesto Quintero. David Rodriguez. Dennis Abtera. Paul Jose Diaz the third. Clifford J. Montgomery the third. Aman Mohammadian. Grant Fernando. Jose Mendez. Yolanda Claure. David Willis. Keith Nelms. Miguel Cruz. Christopher Ramos. Salvador Sanchez Jr. Angelo Palato. Patrick Fox Trueliner. Michael Dunn Vecchio. Rodolfo Zulaida. Christian Aguilar. Gabriel Gilman. Alex Mationg. Nicholas Michael Moss. Joseph Lopez. Mario Flores. Miguel Arseniega. Christopher Frank. Dwight Ashman. Sean Mosh. Jason Bell. Chelsea Feeney. Kara Seliga. Devin Collier. Joshua Pappas. Diana Quinn. Ryan Stull. Edgar Rodriguez. Emerson Revolorio Rivera. Austin Clark. Fahad Barhas. Ibrahim Hassan. Amar Al Dragma. 
Ryo Yoshioka. Jonathan Gutierrez. Cesar Brambilla. Jay Lee Williamson. Jemson Monroni. Melanie Foronda. Belen Soltero. Carly Scott. Caitlin Rebecca Hyde. Michael Duffy. Jeffrey Rettemeyer. Evan Stinsvad. Cody Alcantar. Chris Wehrman. Chris Horman. Genoveva Romero Marquez. Roberto Aguilar. Anthony Lucero. Dana Long. Dean Chege, Tim Kwok, Gerald Chacon, Robert Cohen, Jason Labordette, Abraham Diaz, Marlene Cervantes, Duan Nguyen, Jacob Scheidel, Ben Andrews, Andrew Fiscus, Christina Jester, James Jeffrey Watkins, Brittany Shamoon, Kyle Skellinger, Janine Krista Andres. Daniel Robert Connor. Benjamin Toth. Jacqueline Vila. Kasia Gerli Figuera. Angelica Rojas. David Arthur. Madeline Downing. Norberto Rubalcaba. Oh, yeah. Gregory Dunn. Matt Gessner. Crystal Garcia. Ismael Marquez III. Mitch Thanonen. Patrick Larkin. <laughs> Gary Frankenhauser. Elizabeth Anderson. Matthew Madrill. Nancy Lacrory. Lakshmi Vijayakumar. Adam Brooks. Colby Blakeman. Kyle Enderberg, Zach Lawless, Erica Carino, Thomas Smith, Bestun Baban, Richard Saros, Carlos Navarro II, Court Palmer. Michael Singley, Joshua Woodruff, David Fish, Leonardo Flores, Alicia Ballard, Juliana Sulaka, Christelle Olu Coker, Abdul Rahman Al Hogal. Hazem Sarur. Saleh Alasusi. 
Darren Sanchez. Carol Stein. Jordan C. Corey Subota. Jason Andres. Kenneth Santos. Gachun Patrick Pung. Andrew Donovan. Gabriella Staley. Juan Para. Tanner Verhooks. Anna Rulon. From the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Shruti Jen. Shobana Kanagaraj. Shweta Ramesh. Marin Edatukaranjani. Jivita Jayagopala Krishnan. Abhiyana Suresh Kumar. Fun Lin. Sarush Tamizi. Samyukta Satyan. Anupama Bide. Komal Damaraju. Puja Kankanhali. Christopher Ferguson. Doria Lane. Teresa Halai. Patrick Crissini. Julie A. Bear. Gunjan Shah. Narasima Karanakar. Brian Snow. Albert Fruner. Bruce Lee. Brian Liu. Aaron Delgado. Robert Mamas. Morris. <laughs> Benjamin Crabtree. Nathan Saft. Aaron Eugene Penny. Jonathan David Crouch. Derek Flesher. Lucas Erpelding. Rachel Marie Shrum. Harrison Snodgrass. Joshua M. Peretz. Gabriel Martin Duran. Matthew Mummert. William Silverthorne. David Brooks. Edward Palma. Nicholas Felicia. Eric Aquino. Andrew Babion. Dustin Sackett. Jacob Cow. Adam Tooley. Landy Chan. Dustin Wright. Jefferson Leonardo de Leon. Diego Ferramique. Brian Murphy. Tian Gan. David Fan. Anthony Aiento. Daniel Lapuz. Camille Ann Afala. My Chow Her, Rafael Reyes, 
Justin Paul Passion Mateo. Erwin Tan. Alan Golchow Tan. Nonoy Sugitan. Calvin Vergara Gonzalez. Emmanuel de Monteverde. Michael Manglik Mott. Mark Gaggy. Richelle Siusan. Elizabeth San Pedro. Noel Briseño. Jesus Puebla. Samir Okpa Michael. Craig Urich. Rafat Inam. David Kwan. Monica Satya Totampudi. Khalid Alagio. Jorge Romo. Faisal Alyoha. Walid Al Abdul Hadi. Saud Al Hidus. Peter Tasev. Nicholas Thorpe. Tony Nguyen. Mehmet Isaac. Stephen Kuchka. Boris McDaniel. Darren Parsons. Dalal Al Kafaili. Tarek Esmail. Derek Mac the second. Kirill Glushko. Pedro Ramos. Jim Tran. Raylan Roanto Ramirez Jr. Nathaniel Ariano. Alexander Makadonsky. Winnie Din. Rodney Corrigan. Eric Bergstead. Daniel Culler. Joel Rendon. Jimmy Doan. Vicky Vo. Jopung Hong. Mark Lewis Villanueva. Dan Hai. Patrick Monter. Sherwin Edgibon. Fausto Paolo Maraz. Craig Lewis. Roberto Gomez. Ronnie Samir Othman. Nojan Rahimian. Arvin Nicknam. Victor Nguyen. Uday. Uday Bendegari. Lorraine Martinez. Alejandro Castro. Joanna Avitia. Gong Man Nguyen. Priscilla Moreno. Yadira Arevalo. Christian Rivera. Paul Sarmiento. <laughs> From the Department of Mechanical Engineering.
Matthew Lau. Sergio Sarmiento. Evan Schoening. Ivan Ivisek. Jeremy Zetterberg. Daniel Muse. Claudine Gregorio Reeder. Varsha Ramesh. Scott Seidman. Maria Vomero. Roberto Gavulio. Michael Nguyen Cow. Christian Mata. Abdalatif Alatabi. Nadir Al Shamari. Ferris Saab. Mohammed Arwashid. Hamoud Al Mashawa. Emily Lane. Daniel Anderson. Taylor Wagner. <laughs> Kyle Seaman. Christoph Barbode. Romy Neil Jude. Anthony Tilly. Craig Larwood. Glenn Edward Wang. Morgan McNamara. Megan Lacey. Christy Nishihira. <laughs> Vanessa Bundy. Ashley Kabibi. <laughs> Kyle Stewart. Reed Hallett. Diego Gonzalez. Ashley Del Rosario. Jaymore Clyde Fagaragan K. Borgen. Charles Ignolino. Fong Win. Benjamin Cadwa. Justin Fianza. Nadine Cesena. Jesse Javier. Jade Handy. Clayton Byer. Dylan No. Justin Serenus. Alyssa Armstrong. Billy Jensen. Sarah Maxwell, Gabrielle Santos, Jen Aguilar, Caesar Amparo, Samantha Moore, Sergio Juarez, Honey Chalingo, Luis Angel Martinez. John Tory, Ramin Feruzi, Adrian Alvarez, Connor Higgins, Tim Warcup, Marco Vadabuk, Daniel Fox, Kinsey Betancourt. Alec Benton. Aaron Young Shung Lu. Robert Hammett. David Cobb. Matthew Inderbitson. Alexander Ben. Anthony Katkov. Christy Winter. 
Maxwell Rooney. Riley Elizabeth Winship. Kent Menoru Kurashima. Casey Mazikov. Lucas Zacharias. Kyle Hathaway. Jin Choi. Kyle Vanderskaff. Derek Raymond Brown. Nathan Reed. Stephen Daly. Wesley Davis. Frank Sanchez Smith. Fumiyuki Sato. Joaquin Contreras. Mike Sagani. Brian Grove. Sean Brown. William Childers. Lindsey Kelly. Kyle Folletta. Corey Beagley. Jason Perucci. Ryan Robert Taylor. Randy Marles. John Schmidt. Olumayukun Olagbemi. Daniel Bloom. Ryan Skurlock. Michael Opozo. Kyle Greenleaf. Anton Madrano. Sebastian Madrigal. Corey Simmons. Ryan Edward Medina. Thomas Asaro. Francis Liu. Kevin Semo. <laughs> Jeffrey Barr. Robert Nicanor. Ezekiel Guadarrama Galindo. Robert Schneider. Nicholas Sorensen. Jared Rubin. Jeremy Kaplan. Christina Haddock. Jeremy Avery. Ariel Ziegler. Jerob Farnay. <laughs> Luke Matsumoto. Jordan McMillan. Mike Hariri. Brandon Hashkey. Kevin Bowie. Stephen Edward Porsche. John Ryan Abitas. Brittany Nicole Finley. Christine McGrath. Rodrigo Leon Alvarez. Anthony Fusco. Michael Parks. Daryl Miller. Michael Spellman. Marie Cruz Carrillo. Andre Pate. Sean Casey. Gabriel Bach. Vlad Carabin. Andrew M. Batch. Maria Yegarova. Michael Buckle. 
Cyrus Oshtori. Robert Stanley IV. Anthony Reserva. Gregory Hoffman. Ara Hovanissian. Robert Davies. Nina Amiri. Diego Wright. Alex Abraham. Oscar Jaime. Emily Rose Escalante. Jeremiah Jeffries. Herman Verdusco. David Connell. Juan Berrigan. Christian Serna. Ryan Hayes Austin. Andy Garcia. Francisco Garcia. Jesus Lopez. Emeterio Hernandez. Christian Kamberov. Bernie Garcia Olivo. Aaron Nikovic. Marcos Olivas. Jimmy Lee. Michael Quincena. DeLong Lim. Spencer Caroli. Maxwell Lightman. Commencement ceremony is now coming to an end. After the recess of the platform party, uh, marshals will lead members of the College of Engineering class of 2015 as they recess from the arena. All of you who are guests of the graduates will proceed to the upper exits. Please do not obstruct the lines of graduates as they recess. We ask you for your cooperation so that our graduates may recess quickly and easily from their seats. Graduates, please remain seated until the platform party has recessed and your marshal requests your row to rise and exit by the doors to which you entered. Congratulations to everyone, all of you. <laughs> <laughs>